Let's solve the inequality and graph the solution set. Notice we're given a rational inequality, so in order to solve this, we need to put everything on one side of the inequality sign and zero on the other. So we'll subtract three from both sides. And we have two x plus one over x minus three minus three is less than or equal to zero. Next, we need to get a common denominator of x minus three. So we have two x plus one over x minus three minus three, and we'll just multiply the numerator and denominator by x minus three to get a common denominator is less than or equal to zero. Now we can write the left-hand side with one denominator, x minus three, and we'll combine the numerator, two x plus one minus three times the quantity x minus three. Now we need to distribute and we have two x plus one minus three x plus nine all over x minus three is less than or equal to zero. This simplifies to negative x plus ten in the numerator over x minus three in the denominator is less than or equal to zero. Now we're actually ready to start the problem. We just prepared it right now. So we're really going to solve the inequality negative x plus ten over x minus three is less than or equal to zero. So we start with step one. We need to find the boundary points. In this case, the boundary points are any numbers that make the numerator or the denominator equal to zero. So first, if we set the numerator equal to zero, negative x plus ten is equal to zero, we get that ten is equal to x, or simply x equals ten. If we set the denominator equal to zero, we get the value x is equal to three. So in step two, we need to go to a number line. On the number line, we'll put our boundary points. We have three and we have ten. We have three different intervals at which to look now. So in step three, we'll choose a test value in each of the intervals, put that into our original function. So we have x equals, we can choose any number to the left of three, let's choose zero. If we substitute zero into negative x plus ten over x minus three, we'll end up with ten over negative three, which is a negative number. If we substitute a value between three and ten, let's let x equal four. If we substitute that into our inequality, we have negative four plus ten, or six, over four minus three, one, which is a positive value. And let's move to the right of ten, let's choose eleven. If we substitute eleven in, we have negative eleven plus ten in the numerator, which is negative one, over eleven minus three, eight in the denominator, which is negative. Now, we're solving this rational inequality, negative x plus ten over x minus three is less than or equal to zero. So that means I'm really looking for negative values or it can equal zero. So the negative values occur at the two outside intervals. So we need to actually graph our solution using this number line I have. We want values up to, and normally we would include three because we have a less than or equal to sign, but we're not going to in this case. It's kind of a special case. I'm not going to put a bracket. I'm actually going to put a parenthesis because I cannot include three in my domain for this rational expression. So three cannot be included, otherwise the denominator would be zero. So I want numbers to the left of three, not including three, or the other place we have negative values are at ten and to the right of ten. So there's my graph. How do I write this solution in interval notation? I write it as negative infinity up to, but not including three, union ten to positive infinity. And the last thing I want to do is write my answer in set builder notation. And I would write the set of all x such that x is less than three, or x is greater than or equal to ten.